All right, for this question here, we have a, a decimal, a, a series of decimals dividing each other. So 0 0.0036 there, and we have 2.8. And then on the bottom part, we have 0 0.04 there, and we have 0 0.1, and then we also have 0 0.003. All right, so in this case here, we, you know, we have this setup here, and uh, it's asking us to, you know, Go ahead and divide that. You don't have a calculator in the GMAT, so what do you do? The the thing here is you need to remove these decimals. What makes it difficult to look at uh, and try to even solve is these decimals just look ugly. They're just terrible. Um, so um, I'm going to lead with the denominator. The denominator is the most important part of a whenever you have a, a decimal set up like this at the top and bottom. Figure out what the denominator is doing in terms of how many decimals it would take to remove all the decimals at the bottom and do the same thing to the top. So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it took six moves of the, de de the, the decimals at the denominator to remove all the decimals at the denominator. So watch what happens. This is now 4, this is now 1, and this is now 3 from just removing two zeros, two decimals here, one decimal there, and three here, for a total of six total moves. So I'm going to need to do the same six at the top. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, but I have to do extra one, six, because if I did six moves at the bottom, I have to do the same at the top for, every, for everything to balance out. So at the top, I now have 36, 36, and I have 280 for the top there. So let's go ahead and reduce this out and let's try to clean things up here. I know four can go in 28 seven times with this zero is just a 70. Three in 36 is 12. And so what we have now is 12 times 70. And then when I look at this, please don't let me catch you in public doing this manually. That you Don't do that, please. Just instead, just say 12 times seven is 84 with a zero. So it's just 840 and that's it. The answer here will be A. So just count the number of zeros to move everything out at the bottom and just do exactly the same at the top so it balances out, reduce everything, and you get 840. And here, just multiply 12 times 7 with a 0, which is 840.